Hello guys, welcome back to our channel where we help you look your best. Before we start today's video, let me give you an introduction of why we make these videos. You know that there are millions of pharmaceutical and cosmetic products in the market today and every time the brands that are marketing these products give such beautiful claims. So are these claims true and does the product really do what it does? So that is why we made these videos so that you can understand if the ingredients work or not and what the ingredients stand for. So every time you are buying a product you should always check what and all ingredients are there in the product because all the ingredients do not suit a particular skin type. So all there are certain ingredients which are suitable for certain uh, skin types that if you are not careful you can end up damaging your skin. So we give you a slight bit of information so that it will be a little bit more helpful for you to select your beauty products. So today's uh, video has been requested by a viewer and it is on the Plum Chamomile SPF 50 Day Cream. The Plum brand has told that it is a soothing antioxidant rich sheer matte day cream with a broad spectrum UVA and UVB protection. It has SPF 50, PA triple plus and it will product, protect the skin from sun damage. They have also told that it is light matte powder texture and it has no white cast. Then other things that uh, they have told that it contains chamomile and uh, it has antioxidant rich white tea. So chamomile will soothe your skin after sun exposure. They have also told that it is 100% vegan good for the planet and also it is recyclable. So are all these beautiful claims true? Let's take a look. As we were looking through the ingredients, we were glad to find that it contains niacinamide or vitamin B3. So this niacinamide which is included in a lot of cosmetic products, it's one of the safest skin lightening or anti-acne skin brightening agent. So this also helps your skin to have that glow from within. So it is good that it has niacinamide as its key ingredient. Another thing uh, which it has is a lot of antioxidants like chamomile extracts and uh, white tea extracts. It also has um, glycerin phospholipids so that uh, it is it'll helpful for uh, preventing the moisture loss from the skin. It will help to keep the skin supple. It also has uh, soothing uh, um, ingredients and the sunscreen in it is uh, mainly given by ethyl hexyl methoxycinamate, butyl methoxydibenzoyl methane and benzophyl. So ethyl hexyl methoxycinamate is an ingredient which was used from long time back. So why are they still using it now? The good part is that even though it has been used from long back and there are a lot of other ingredients which are better than this, this one has a very less side effects. So it is good for that uh, in like the latest products has a lot of side effects. So when you are using this product it has lesser side effects. Although the other uh, sun protective factors or ingredients which are present in this are uh, said to be better. Although the other ingredients are known to um, control the UVA and UVB rays from damaging our skin, they do have some side effects like uh, rashes, you might get rashes, you might get skin cloggings and all. So it is better to do a patch test before you use this product. To do a patch test, apply a little bit of product on an area of skin which is not very visible and wait for some time. So if you don't have any rashes or itchiness or anything, then you can continue using the product. If you do have some rashes, or redness or itchiness you should stop using the product so overall is this a good product yes it is a good product it has some good formulations but uh, there are uh, instances where it could be uh, it could clog the pores because of some of these um, because some of the uh, sunscreen ingredients uh, so if you do have oily skin I would not recommend that you use this product too much but if you have dry skin well go for it and uh, even though they have told that it is uh, lightweight and it doesn't leave white cast in your skin as some of these ingredients are oil soluble uh, there is a chance that it could leave a white cast on your skin and it could clog the pores so it is not completely light or um, non-clogging uh, so better you use this if you want to try it you use a smaller tube and just try it out and then uh, continue with it so if you have a dry or normal to dry skin then this will be better for you than if you have an oily skin we hope you have learned something new from this. Thank you for watching and take care of your beautiful self.